welcome back. Another episode of Three Minute Trials. So let's review dapagliflozin and heart failure with mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction, aka the DELIVER trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, I'm Mike Freilich. I'm a clinician scientist. I work in Toronto and Sault Ste. Marie. So when I'm thinking about studies, when I want to understand what on earth did they do, what was their research question, I use the PICO framework. So for this study, the population was um, adults over the age of 40 who had an ejection fraction greater than 40%. The intervention was dapagliflozin 10 milligrams once a day, that's a pill. Uh, and the comparator was placebo. Outcome was a composite of worsening heart failure or cardiovascular death. And the timeline was uh, a median of two and a half years almost. When I'm trying to understand the strengths and weaknesses of the study design, I've come up with this phobia mnemonic. So was it placebo controlled? Yes, that's very good to reduce the risk of bias. How is it funded? This was funded by industry. It's important to keep that in mind. Was the outcome clinically relevant? Absolutely. Was the study blinded? Yes, that also protects against um, bias, all sorts of bias actually. Was it intention to treat? Yes. And was it a lot of centers? Was it multi-center? Absolutely. So for this study, let's find out about the results. They approached 10,000 patients to be included, and there were 6,000 randomized. Overall, the loss of follow-up was rare. Now, that's really good. You want to have complete data for your study. What did the patients look like? Average age is 72, 44% were women. Average ejection fraction was 54%. Uh, average GFR, which is renal function, was 61. Uh, and nearly 90% had high blood pressure. And only half had diabetes. So what did they find? You know, their primary outcome here, very impressive. All right. What they observed was a marked reduction in the risk of heart failure or cardiovascular death compared to placebo. A 20% relative risk reduction, and if I can do some mental math, a 3% absolute risk reduction. So that's like a number needed to treat of um, 30 individuals for two years. Very impressive. In terms of secondary outcomes, so all-cause mortality was 16% with dapagliflozin and 17% in the placebo group. Um, serious adverse events were common uh, across the two groups. In terms of limitations, uh, the big one is just external generalizability. How well would these results hold up in the so-called real world rather than the highly controlled setting of a randomized trial? And are SGLG2s cost effective? Well, we can't answer that question, at least not based on this study. Uh, take home point for patients with heart failure with mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction, uh, dapagliflozin significantly reduces the risk of worsening heart failure or cardiovascular death. This is really impressive. And, and these SGLT2s, the fact that they can improve heart failure outcomes regardless of whether or not somebody has diabetes, even if their ejection fraction is only mildly reduced, is really impressive and totally practice changing. Uh, thanks so much uh, to Harry Lee uh, who produced this video.